Okay, so today we're going to work on, st we're still working on the background. So we're, just gonna, we're going to put the color of the um, tablecloth that's used here. And then we'll move on to putting uh, some color for the pots in the back and some green and uh, the fruits. So for the tablecloth, I'm using phthalo blue, doesn't matter if it's red shade or green shade, cadmium yellow medium. Cadmium yellow medium and phthalo blue give you that kind of bright green and most of the time when you go to uh, fruit markets or you know places like this they they do use plastic color you know plasticky stuff um so you see these colors not only because of that it's just because it's a nice color as well to add in the background yeah that's a beautiful color because everything is almost the same. And once we start, same color in the back. And once we start adding um, fruits, the color of the fruits, it will look really great with this. So I'm using a, a um, small size. I'm, I'm working with 8 by 10 inches um, canvas board. And I'm using flat or bright brush so, oh jeez and there's one here now I'm going to wait for it to dry and see if it's too strong um at it will it should dry darker so it should be okay um and i think it'll be fine even if it's strong i don't think we should worry about the color too much um i'm gonna take round brush actually this one here it's this size and i'm gonna take a little bit of more blue I mean, I can darken it with some raw umber, but I'm going to try with a bit more blue in here for the top of the table because you're not going to see this. We're not going to see this color. This is very small surface up here for the table. And let's take, yeah, just a bit. Okay, that's it for this part. Simple, leave it at that. Don't have to worry too much about anything in here. Um, that's it, uh, I'm using now, do you want me to stop for a minute? Or you're okay? Whatever is convenient for you. Uh, I, I'm gonna take, burnt sienna and I'll stop after this and I'm going to put burnt sienna here for the pots in the back I'll wait for the for the color to dry to see if I need to darken it but I don't think so that's a nice earthy color it goes very well with the green. Green. Mm.
I'm going to wait for it to dry and see if I need to darken a bit. All right, I'm going to pause. All right, so now I'm going to put the greens in the pots. And uh, I'm using here, I'm mixing Thalo Blue, because I have it, and Cadmium Yellow Medium together. And to tone it down, because if you take Thalo Blue, and you take Cadmium Yellow Medium, and you see the color is very... Uh, bright and it's not a natural like nature color so it's kind of uh, more like a, here let me bring this here you can see um it's more like a turquoisey green but if you take a little bit of any uh, uh, red i have here burnt sienna which is fine and put it in there you will get you tone down the green and you make it more earthy so this is what i did here i mixed yellow blue cadmium yellow medium and i put in it a little bit of burnt sienna and what i'm going to do is just with a round brush small brush i'm just going to put some green in here now i do have a bit of raw umber in here. I'm going to take some. And put some brown in it. You know, I have to remember that this is not the focal point. This is in the back. So I don't want the green to be too strong. I just want it. I just want a hint. So adding raw umber. And if you want, you could just add raw umber. You don't have to add burnt sienna. If you, um, you know, that would work too. Um, using yellow blue, cadmium yellow medium, and raw umber, that that would work. That would really tone it down and make it darker. And then you can see the difference between these two. One is light, and one is slightly, slightly darker. So I'm gonna keep it dark. I'm going to add here a couple. So not to leave them like this, I could I can take a little bit of uh, with without uh, you know I don't want to leave them without uh, highlighting them. Uh, just highlight them a bit. I'm going to take cadmium yellow medium and just add a bit of highlight. Same here. Again, a little bit here. Done. That's it. I'm going to move on to what's in here. 
So the one next to her face, this one here and this one here, I'm going to keep the colors cool colors. So I'm going to use some green. And it doesn't matter what's in there. Because her face is going to be in warm color, right? So it will not compete with her face. I don't want to put red in there. Green will be the perfect color to put. And I don't really need to make it look like anything. So I'm going to take this green. I'm going to take a little bit of yellow. Maybe even yellow ochre. Just to give it a bit of highlight. And then just give it some kind of a shape. That's too light. Again, I don't want it to be take away from her. So I'm just going to put a hint of something. And let it dry. So now I'm using, this is raw umber. I'm going to put a little bit more raw umber. I'll, I'll push this down here so you can see. Okay. And I am going to use cadmium red light. Cadmium yellow light. And Cadmium yellow light and what else? And cadmium red light. Oh, red, red. Yeah, cadmium red light. You know what? I can't see what you're seeing, so I'm going to minimize. So, for this layer, I'm using any brush. This is good. I'm going to use a corner or a round brush, it's fine too. A little bit bigger if you're going to use a round brush, maybe something like this. I'm going to take red, so I'm going to prepare the base. I'm going to take red, raw umber, and you can use any color. You could use uh, uh, lizard and crimson if you like. Um, but I just don't want to use too many colors, so I'm going to use cadmium red light and raw umber and I'm going to put the first layer so I'm going to do this random and actually I'm going to go a little bit darker using more raw umber what okay Same. I mean, you can use burnt sienna with with uh, cadmium red light. That will work too. Anything that will make it will make the red darker. Um, let's put another one here. And the next one is what? Same, 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 oh, the same, the same, 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 same color. color. Yeah, same color. Same color. Yeah. We have some reds. Now I'm going to take yellow ochre. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to take raw umber, a little bit of raw umber, put it in my yellow ochre.
this is just the base okay we're doing we're putting the base color okay so the one next to her face this green is drying a little bit too bright i'm going to tone it down in a minute but before i do that i am going to continue using again some green with yellow or green with actually green with uh, let's use green with um yellow ochre it's kind of uh, yeah. yeah it's kind of a toned down lime green Yes, yes, like the mm. remember the name. All right. Don't spend too much time on this. These are not just just as just the background and it's not the focal point. All right, so um let's put some I'm gonna take a little bit more red and put it in here in that combination of red and raw umber. So I'm gonna increase the amount of red a little bit more in here. And because because this is too small, that these here are small, so I can dab a little bit of that red in there. So it's not going to be in there. Okay. Now I'm going to start highlighting whatever is in here. Actually, I need the. I'm going to need the uh, reference. Okay. A little bit more red in the same. Not, you don't want it, this red to look too strong. It still has to s stay in the back. So, a little bit more red, and let's see. Yeah. So, all I'm going to do is do this. Leave some of the dark showing through and put a, a hint of a round circle. Hint. So up here and then make sure that there's still some dark in between showing. Okay, that's it. We're not going to spend too much time, and we don't know. <coughs> it doesn't matter what they are. Um, it could be anything. It's just color and texture. And that's it. All right, now the ones in the front, the same. So I have here yellow ochre. What I'm going to do is take yellow ochre again. Add 
cadmium yellow light with my yellow ochre that I have here and again try to get a hint of maybe oh geez oranges uh, I mean lemons yeah, that's good so this by itself orange uh, no no it's just orange uh, it, it, it is um, cadmium yellow light with yellow ochre oh. okay but not too strong you know, the, don't no, put too much color. cadmium yellow, yellow light. Because these are warm colors. They they're, uh, come forward if you put too much. We still want them to be in the back. But we're just putting a hint of color in the back. A hint of something. Same now with the green. So I'm going to take the same green I have right here, which is a combination of phthalo blue, cadmium yellow medium. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow ochre in there. And cadmium yellow light. Again, I don't want this to be, I want it to look like lime, lime color, but not too strong. And you know what? It doesn't matter what you're putting in here, shape. We're just highlighting a bit. Could be anything. It's not about recognizing the shape of the stuff in the back or what you know putting a specific we're just putting color in between is uh, dark green or yes uh, yes it's dark oh. green yes it's actually it was a let me see uh, i think it was green with a bit of uh, Yellow ochre. Yellow ochre. Or you can rewind. If you rewind the video, you'll know. Because I have no idea. I can't remember what I put. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Always when watching. All right. Now, I'm, I'm mixing an orange. Right there. Using cadmium red light and cadmium yellow light. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of raw umber in there darkening darken the orange and i'm going to use it here very very bright no no it has it has raw umber in it. Let me change the exposure. Raw exposure umber and what? Raw umber and, and orange. Red. Orange. 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 Oh. I mixed. I mixed cadmium red light, cadmium yes. yellow light. I got an orange. Yes. Yes. And, yes, then, yes. and then I added raw umber in the orange to tone it down. Okay. I'm highlighting a bit with more yellow. Yep. 
There. We have a nice, um, a nice uh, combination of colors. Now here in the front, yeah, we're gonna put a little bit more. We're gonna put a little bit more work on that ones in the the ones in the front. Um, tiny bit more, not much, on these ones here. So it, I'm going to use orange again. And, you know, I put a red in there. So this orange is too light. Let's put some raw umber. And all I'm going to do is with the corner of my brush, it's a round brush. It's supposed to be a round brush, but it's flat right now. Um, yeah. Just kind of a little bit of a hint of uh, some fruits in there. Let's take a little bit of more orange in there and then highlight. Some, uh, let's take, uh, let's take green. So I'm going to take, uh, again, make a green, mix a green, put yellow ochre in it. It will tone it down. Take again, maybe a little bit of raw, um, raw umber in that green. It's not enough. This is better be there. This could be anything. If you want to put lettuce, grapes, um, anything, it doesn't have to be this. But again, I'm not spending too much time on this because it's in the back. Um, just I'm trying to create shapes and, and texture and color, but I just still want it to be in the back. I don't want it to come forward. The color above these uh, uh, fruits, what color? Yes, yes, it's gray. This? This? Not this, uh, under, yes, above the green. Uh, the the, yes. the table, green, table cloth? Down, yeah. The tablecloth, there is another color on the bottom. Oh, down here, yeah. down yeah. here. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, dear. What did we use last week? I can't remember the oh, colors we used oh, last okay, week. Okay, okay, it was okay, from okay. last week. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Um, I can't remember if we used. Uh, no, 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 Some kind of a, a brown and, uh, and um, yellow ochre, uh, no? The no the uh, April the unbleached titanium or something. Unbleached titanium, you're right, you're right. Unbleached titanium. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. As I remember. Yes. So here I have red and I have uh, cadmium red light and uh, raw umber here. So I'm adding a little bit of uh, cadmium red light in the raw umber. And I'm just going to yeah. just put some red in here. Hint of red. Yeah. Okay. Um, don't remember if these were, I think they were uh, baskets. So um, I'm going to work on giving the baskets a shape, a little bit of a shape. So I'm using yellow ochre. I have yellow ochre here. Let's put this back here. And actually, what I forget, I'm going to take green again, put some raw umber in the green. When I do the face, if I find that this this color is interfering with the face, the, the green in here, I will tone it down. I can tone it down right now, actually. I'm just adding, I'm going to add a bit of, tiny bit of uh, yellow ochre in here. I think that's better. So this is uh, apples. Uh, whatever. Gala or the yellow green? Gala. <laughs> Gala. Gala is yeah. one of my favorite. My favorite. Gala. Yep. Yes. Apples. Green. Gala are the the green green color, right? They're like the green. green. No, no, no. Red, uh, dark red. Oh, gala. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. The green is the gray. Yes, 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 yes. That's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Tower. Yes. So I'm mixing raw umber, uh, raw umber, yellow ochre and cadmium yellow light. And a small brush, round, round. Let's see. Oh, this is too strong. Let's let's add. Let's use just raw, uh, uh, yellow ochre and see if we can highlight this. Yeah, you know what? Just yellow ochre. Don't don't use. Don't put um, cadmium. Okay. Yeah, don't put yeah. cadmium in it. Oh, it's like baskets. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 
So which one is the, which apples are the ones that make a tart, make apple tart? With uh, uh, any, or any? Is it a specific one? Yeah, is it a specific one or any, any? I think any. Okay. I'm not sure, of course, but... Hmm. Yeah. Or the crispy ones, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yes, I think it's the crispy. The crispy ones, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we have a visitor. Oh, who is here? Oh, Ruben. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so so this is this is a hint of a basket weave. In the back. I think the top of the uh hmm, the top of the crate here is a bit too dark. I'm using uh, Naples yellow. I have a bit of Naples yellow. I'm mixing it with yellow ochre. Okay, now there's one more and this is, it's this uh, basket on this side. This one here, I'm going to use uh, Naples yellow with yellow ochre. Again, this is not the focal point, so we don't want to spend too much time. Um, handle. And I'm going to go across. Okay. Hi, Rupin. How are you? Is she uh, is she muted? Maybe. Mm. You recording? I am recording. Okay, so when you finish. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. You have something to tell us. I have to show you something. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll I'm still it. working on it. Yeah. But I want to. But I want to share it with you and get some feedback. Opinion. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yep, I'm oh, almost yes. done. Yeah. So for the, the back of the basket, I just added a bit of uh, raw umber to the yellows I'm using. And I'm just going to do this and then leave it. Leave it. That's it. All right, I'm going to pause. So for this basket, yellow ochre, raw umber, this is the first layer. And the first thing I want to do is make sure I have the right size, the shape, the right shape before I do anything. If I don't have the right shape, then it's not going to work. Okay, I'm going to darken this a little bit. And you'll see that this whose bomb is going off? Mm -hmm. I know. I know. Not mine. Um. And I don't have to have a perfect color at this point. But 
but I do need to make sure that I have the darks inside in here, inside the basket done properly. And I might need to go darker even. But for now, I'll just put this. And you can see that the shape is not right. Um, I'm going to take, but that's okay for now because I'm not highlighting. I'm just putting a layer. This is raw umber. I'm going to darken this inside more. And once I start highlighting, then I will adjust my values. But for now, raw umber. Darken the inside, inside of the basket. And what, by doing different, um, working on the values, I can, at this point, see the shape more. Again, some raw umber only with a round brush. And uh, these those baskets are, I'm going to give it just, they're usually wood, aren't they? The baskets? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The baskets that they give you, a bushel basket, like. Yeah, the bushel, yeah. yeah. Are you recording, Leo? Yeah. I'm recording. Okay. Did you want to say something? No, after you're recording. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave it at this for now because uh, highlighting is going to take a little bit more time, and we're not uh, we don't have time for now. The brown, oh. the brown layer is raw under, or yeah. a little bit more. No, 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 no. Yeah, just raw under because I have it here. Just raw under. It yeah. looks darker than raw under. That's why I'm asking. No, no, it's raw under. It's, it's just a camera. Okay. It's just a camera. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave it at this for now. Next week we'll highlight it, and then it gives me. I need. I need a reference as well. I, so I, I like to have a reference when I do these things. Um, so I'll for, I'll, for, for this for the. Yeah. The fruit. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to have a reference. Yeah. So, okay, I'm going to stop for now. Okay, so this is how the painting looks for, for today. We did the background. We put all of the colors. Greens, yellows, reds. And I did also the baskets. And then we are uh, we did um, I did the um, lantern using first layer yellow ochre. Then to highlight the yellow ochre, I used Naples yellow because I have these colors on my palette. For the iron so iron uh, part, I used raw umber, and I highlighted the raw umber with Naples yellow as well. So very simple. I use the colors I have and uh, to put the uh, lantern because the lantern is just kind of in the background. So this is for this week. Uh, this is a, a layer of first layer of the bushel basket <clears throat> uh, in yellow ochre and raw umber. <laughs>